grasses are just the most amazing thing at um, sequestering carbon. I look at the pattern of that leaf as opposed to the pattern of a tree, or and a, a tree has a dendritic profile in the way it, it um, moves fluids, which is pretty, let's say, old world. And here we have this amazing thing called a grass, and it's got the equivalent of a fluid transfer of a 20-lane freeway. So it just, you know, it, when it makes sugar, it just, or and other other elements, it just compounds it just moves them down to the root system it has this amazing fibrous root system great relationships with uh, all of these soil microorganisms and it just it's just a just a great way of taking the sun's energy and the and the energy of the air and uh, water and putting it into the soil in the form of sugar and then that that becomes long chain carbohydrate long chain carbon becomes humus incredibly quickly as opposed to the other stuff people carry on about with, um, you know, using compost and green manures and all of this short chain carbons, it's, it's nowhere near as stable as the humus that's created from uh, the, liquid, um, the liquid chain of, uh, of glucose transfer into the soil at a grass, there's no better thing. So grass, grass and global warming, um, I mean, what a combination. Um, yeah, we've got to do that.